Hello, hello. I wanted to tap in really quick. Well, you know what? I shouldn't say really quick because usually when I do that, this shit lasts for like 20 minutes. Damn. But anyways, short story long. Um, There's something coming up in regards to I did it all on my own. I did it without your help. I did it without any of you. Blah, 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 blah. I did it on my own. I got here on my own. Like there's this, I hear somebody saying this and maybe this is something that you used to say. Maybe you already came to terms with this, came to a realization, but it's popping up. So this could be something within, something that somebody's unconscious of, somebody that has, uh, maybe somebody has to, I'm hearing repent for it. I don't know why I'm getting the word repent. I'm even hearing the word confession. All right. Between you and source, between you and your ancestors, you and your angels, because I see them looking and I see them looking down and they're like shaking their head like this. Mm -mm. You did not do it alone. You may not be able to see me, but I was there with you every step of the way. Even in those hard times, I feel I feel like somebody's saying, Spirit, were you there when this shit happened too? And if you was, why'd you let me go through that shit? The fuck? And Spirit saying it made you stronger, but I needed you, I needed you to call out for me. Sometimes divine does that to make sure we're still calling out for them. Make sure that we know that we can't do it without them, that we've never been doing it alone, all right? Not sure why it's coming up. Maybe someone's even saying it to somebody around them and this person really did help you or you really did help this person and they may be saying it to you, but give all glory to divine regardless. All right, but I'm I'm hearing like, stop saying that you did it alone, because the more you say that, the more you're going to have to go through things alone without the help of divine. You're not going through it alone. And somebody has to affirm that divine has been there with you every step of the way. You have to affirm that and you have to walk like you have a thousand, ten thousand, one hundred thousand ancestors and angels behind you, side by side, in front of you, leading you, all right? Let's get our angels and ancestors and then close this off. We have Oracle. Wait for important information. Somebody's trusting guidance from divine. Her eyes are closed. She's feeling this connection. And it could be for you as well, masculines, or for your feminines. But I feel this is the feminine aspect of you. You're feeling this connection with divine. You're letting divine fill you up with love, fill you up with energy, fill you up with guidance, with protection, with peace. There's this heavy shield of protection around you right now. A heavy shield of protection. So let's read it from the book. Oracle. A lot of you could be oracles. Really tapped into spirit, this divine connection with spirit. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. The oracle is the truth speaker and insight bringer of this deck. The ancestor who will be your best outspoken girlfriend, somebody who will tell you exactly what you need to hear to move forward. In this deck, she is reminiscent of the Oracle Delphi, a psychic priestess of ancient Greece who was able to receive information and make predictions. She holds a bowl that has a sacred smoke rising out of it, bringing the message to look beyond all you can see and gather information in order to make an accurate evaluation of your current situation. 
Yes, yes, yes. Angels, ancestors, and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So look and listen for important conversations, signs, and messages that will point you in the right direction. You're being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves. Because at the moment, you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time. But you will only be able to do so if you're willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further inf information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. Oh, we, that's exactly what I was talking about. You're being guided to wait. Yeah, so there's something like somebody wanted to do it their way. Somebody wasn't consulting with divine before they were making choices, before they were making decisions. Somebody's feeling like, I know what's best for me. Although we do, we do know what's best for us. But the only way we know what's best for us is when we have this uh, connection with divine. Because divine knows what's best for you and they'll send you the information in regards to do what's best for you. All right. I am seeing a lot of luck coming towards you, big changes, things turning in your favor. But in order for these things to turn, you need the help of divine, your angels, your ancestors to help this go in your favor. I'm hearing it's your turn. It's our turn is what divine is saying. It's our turn. All right. I love you all so much. I brought, I trust that brought you clarity, peace, love, inspiration. I appreciate each and every one of you. Whew, hit that like button, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Aloha.